All right, John Asmussen here. I'm going to show you how you can send USDT from Binance to your TronLink wallet. The first thing to do, I'm using the Chrome extension, is to open your TronLink wallet, go into the account that you're using. If you only have one, that's the one that will be there. And then I'm going to copy this address by clicking on it. Then I need to go to Fiat and Spot. And I'm in that screen now. I'm going to go to my USDT and I'm going to click withdraw. I'm going to add the address in, which I've copied and pasted from my Tronic wallet. It's automatically going to pick it up as a TRC20, which is a Tron network. And I'm just going to send 10 USDT because you should always send a small amount just to test it for the first time. I'm going to click withdraw, continue. Then I'm going to get an email code because that's the security settings I've set up and also my two factor authentication. Refer back to the Binance setup video for that. I've entered the code from my email and also my two factor authentication from my Authy app, which is like a Google authenticator. I'm going to complete it and now I simply go to my TronLink wallet and I'll refresh it and after about 30 seconds I've got a little red dot pop up here showing that there's a new asset so you can see right now I can only see the Tron but I also want the USDT so I'm going to click on plus I'm going to look at one new asset and click on that one it's going to show that I now have got USDT. I'm going to click plus. And that's going to add it to my visible assets. Then I go back, click back again. And now you can see my Tron, which is zero, is here. And my USDT is showing here. Now you can see it says nine, although I sent 10. That's because the fee to send USDT from Binance is one USDT. No matter how much you send, it's always one USDT. And that's it. Very simple process once again. That's all for me for now and I'll catch up with you in the next video.